What is going on guys? Hope you guys are doing well today. I got some Hachi Rocket Barrage tank gameplay. I want to show you guys an interesting way you can really defend on Iwo Jima using this tank. This is of course one of the new squad call-ins that we got in our Pacific Theater update. I did a video that I'll show in the annotations above that you guys want to check out. If you want to find out the full details of how these new squad call-ins work. But for today, I'm going to show you guys really how this tank can basically single-handedly defend the caverns in Iwo Jima on Breakthrough. If you're on the defense team and you are finding you and your team is being overrun by the enemy team, man, one of the best things to do on this map is pull out the Hachi Rocket Barrage tank, get yourself in the caverns, and post yourself up here. And really, the enemy team is pretty much in trouble from here on out. This is just how this tank works with having just a full arsenal of weapons, everything from... You got the rocket barrage I'm throwing in, I have my machine gun, I have my cannon, and on top of that, I have three passenger seats where I can have teammates jump in my tank and have an unlimited amount of machine gun fire, which is really crazy because we basically can hold off the two major passageways that are in the cavern for A flag. You got the one that's right in front of me to my left, and then the one over here to my side. The combination of everything that you're doing here just really eliminates anyone trying to push up with infantry players, and especially if the enemy team tries to push a tank in the passageway to my left, I mean, they're pretty much done. And the main reason why is because I have my rocket barrages that I can just completely destroy the enemy team. You guys know by now if you've been using this tank that if you nail an enemy tank with your rocket barrage, they're pretty much done. So, and the disadvantage they have is very hard for them to get a good angle on me when they're pushing straight up ahead. Especially if you have those tank stoppers or what you would technically call dragon's teeth that you can place over there. If that's anywhere in the vicinity of where they're at, there's just no chance as you can see right here. Uh, they just have no way of getting through right ahead of you or to the side of you even. You can still move over here to the side, lay some machine gun fire down, and keep swapping back and forth. And if you have good teammates that are all in your tank... I mean, again, you can be really devastated on the battlefield. Now, of course, like everything on the battlefield, there's always an upside and a downside to things. So that's Dice's way of keeping things balanced and trying to keep things from being OP. Even though in this situation here, when you have this tank in the cavern, I mean, you know, it's getting there, guys. It is pretty devastating. There's not much the enemy team can do, especially considering that pretty much you single-handedly in your tank alone can watch these two waves in the cavern um, and basically leave your teammates to handle any other passageway that the enemy team could flank you. So, I mean, when you are one player <laughs> and you're able to watch two areas on the map, I mean, man, it's, uh, yeah, it begins to border the area of the OP nature of it. But uh, I don't think the tank is OP. I think this, this scenario right here, right when you're in the cavern and you're in this position here you just have so many good angles in the enemy team and you have so many weapons that you can choose from that I mean there's not much that the enemy team can do now there are a couple weaknesses with having the Hachi rocket tank down here in the caverns one of them there's not much you can do and it's actually really frustrating it's happened to me a couple times already and you're gonna see it coming up here a little bit in this video so just wait and sit tight but a couple other weaknesses this tank has down here in the caverns is uh, one running out of ammo now that might not seem kind of too much of a weakness to some but if you're the only one holding down this cavern and you run out of ammo it's pretty much done right so it's going to be the biggest weakness uh, for some players in some rounds that they're just going to run out of ammo and they're going to have to move back and that's kind of been more of the um, complicated thing when I've noticed in some games we were doing really well and then the moment I ran out of ammo they suddenly just you know the floodgates open and they just push right down the cavern and they overrun you so uh, that's kind of a big one and it's gonna it's gonna happen a lot because if you've seen this video here it's, it's constant and the players pushing up and you gotta watch out for that the other thing you gotta watch out for is what you're seeing right now with the smoke I'll show you guys a clip later on that will show you and the players really using smoke really well to flank main. They did a really good job doing that. So you got to watch out for the smoke. Um, that is a good call if you're trying to just you know, go right up the middle. And you don't want to flank around and try to take me out. You can try throwing smoke down. Um, it is going to be still a bit difficult. Especially if you have, again, teammates all in your tank. You can just continuously just 
lay down suppression fire everywhere and yeah there's not much you can do so uh, smoke is another one and um, you got to watch out for the two passage waves or there's a couple of them right there's you got three of them behind you but there's that one right off here to my right so there's a passageway over here to my right that if you go through that cavern there um, there's one right there to my right you gotta watch out for it. those are the three right there you gotta watch out someone's flanking from behind as you can see here I'm running out of ammo so that much I can do now so I'm like I'm gonna get out of here wow there's not a lot of enemy players there so I get myself refueled and then I end up, end up pushing down over here I want to take out the tank just kind of show off the rocket barrage just how just insane it is like there's just no hope for you if you're a tank dealing with this thing anywhere in this area because you just can't get yourself positioned well enough to like battle me so and even if you lay down one shot i can lay down one rocket barrage and take you out completely if all my rockets hit you so yeah there's not much you can do but like i was saying you want to watch out for the passageways behind you and then there's one off here to my right um that is kind of a sneaky way that they can flank you from the side there that's a really good spot i've noticed with players who are using uh, their um, smoke to give them cover but here comes the biggest weakness for the object tank inside the caverns. It's the JB-2 rocket. Yes, it can go through the mountain and destroy you. This has happened multiple times to me when I've been going on streaks inside the cavern. It's the biggest weakness. There's nothing you can do. Here's another game here. I'm about to completely destroy this tank. Has no idea what's about to happen to him. And then, dead. Man. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Like, what, what can you do? I, I, like, I can't shoot the guy. He's outside, right? So that's the biggest weakness. Here's another one right here where the enemy team is starting to throw smoke and they're pushing that side part right there. So if they do that, they can throw dynamite on you and somehow a guy gets behind me and he can throw, you know, sticky dynamite. You need to get overrun like that. But I, I feel like that can be kind of managed a little bit if you have, um, you know, people in your tank and you're able to um, have them watch the front and right part. And then you can turn around with your turret and kind of watch behind you if you see them uh, capping uh, the B-flag behind you. This is another game right here where we end up winning and uh, pulling them down. And they didn't use the JB-2 rocket to take me out. But besides all of those scenarios right there where I said they can take you out with smoke and flank you that way, they can take you out with the JB-2 rocket or you just run out of ammo. Besides that, I, there's not much hope the enemy team has. This is the ultimate defense weapon, in my opinion, on... Iwo Jima, even if they take out the JBT Rock, I mean, you've done so much damage to them already. So you've windowed them down and their reinforcements to hopefully make it a little bit more difficult for them to finish you off in the final sector. But you guys are going to let me know, have you tried the Hachi Rocket Barrage tank inside the cavern? It's like having an infinite uh, artillery uh, barrage against the enemy team. And it's just, it's just insane. So much fun to use. I love these new tanks. Uh, it's just a really a blast to use them, especially in scenarios like this where, I mean, they're funneling down a cavern right towards you with the most beast tank on the battlefield, in my opinion. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have used this or not. Let me know if you guys got any other strats that you've been doing with this tank on other, other maps that you've been maybe posting up on and finding areas that, like this where the enemy team just can't do nothing about. But that's it for you guys today. Again, I always appreciate you guys being here. I am living, and I'll catch you guys again later.